Hello everyone, I'm Paul on the Guire Grimes. The legendary concert festival Woodstock is still talked about and remembered to this day. The Harlem Cultural Festival should also be talked about in that fashion, and yet has been largely ignored until now. It's the subject of the new documentary, Summer of Soul, or When the Revolution Could Not Be Televised, which is now in the theaters and is streaming on Hulu, and I want to talk about it. This is Paul's trip to the movies. A hundred miles from the grounds of Woodstock stood the stage for the Harlem Cultural Festival in Harlem, New York. They both drew massive crowds in the summer of 1969. The Harlem Cultural Festival was filmed, but the footage has stayed covered in boxes and ignored since then. And now Questlove, the band leader for The Roots and The Tonight Show, takes us back to that powerful summer as the film's director. There was a change of culture and history taking place in the black community. Some wanted peace, while others went off to fight in the Vietnam War. This all comes after the assassinations of John F. Kennedy, Robert F. Kennedy, Malcolm X, and Martin Luther King Jr. rocked the nation. There was rooting and rage in Harlem, and festival host and producer Tony Lawrence wanted to bring the community together through the power of music. He brought together such heavy hitters as Stevie Wonder, Nina Simone, Mahalia Jackson, and Gladys Knight and the Pips, and more. Part of the film acts as a celebration of the music, going from one performance to the next. Quest Love has gathered some of those performers, like members of the Fifth Dimension and Gladys Knight, and we see their reaction to the footage. They give anecdotes about the origins of certain songs, describing how groundbreaking and vital that moment in history was. Mavis Staples recounts seeing a sea of black people having fun and rejoicing as the sounds of gospel, jazz, and funk rang true to the audience. You can't help but want to get up and dance as you're watching the documentary. Questlove and his interview subjects remind us that the music was an expression of the time driven by the political and cultural landscape. There was happiness, rage, pain, and freedom in that music. One of the strongest and most important of voices of the event was Nina Simone, who sang and read poetry and revitalized the crowd with her words. We hear about the history of living in Harlem at the time, how the community gathered in the streets, the hardships, the poverty, and everything in between. There's an eye-opening moment in Quest that reminds the audience that the Apollo 11 moon landing happened that very weekend. We see footage of news reporters asking concert goers for their reaction, and the answers are not what you'd expect. That pivotal moment would go on to influence the acts on stage. Summer of Soul, or When the Revolution Could Not Be Televised, isn't your standard surface-level concert documentary. We see how music and the arts are inspired by what's happening around us. It's a reaction and a cry out for peace and change. But despite all of that, the film acts as a strong reminder that black history is often erased or forgotten, despite how monumental these events are to the world. I'm giving Summer of Soul, or When the Revolution Could Not Be Televised, five out of five ticket stops. If you like my review today, click subscribe on my YouTube channel. I've got some other movie reviews, as well as my appearances on Twin Cities Live. Don't forget to follow my Instagram and Twitter, at Paul's Movie Trip. And then go to my website, paulstriptothemovies.com, for even more reviews. Thank you so much for watching my review of Summer of Soul, or When the Revolution Could Not Be Televised. This is Paul's Trip to the Movies.